Hi, I'm Kaylin, and I help people be who they are, be authentic, and live unlimited. Whether it is helping coaches become certified or improve their coaching techniques and tools, or whether it is companies helping them use online marketing to express their business in such a way that the people who are their targeted and intended audience will learn everything about them and understand that this is the business for them. Today, I want to talk to you about using the fact that time doesn't exist. At this point, that concept has become far more accepted. It seems more in the norm. But I'm really pragmatic, so I'd like to have you look at how you can use that to your benefit. If time doesn't exist, well, I understand that I'm not going to tell you to get a crystal ball and run your hands over it and go back in time and change things. I am going to tell you that we're going to do something very similar today because there's no crystal ball needed. So here's what I want you to do. We're going to run through this exercise today. So get yourself ready. If you want to get some paper and pen or type on your computer um, and get yourself comfortable so that you're sitting somewhere and you have 10, 15, 20 minutes to yourself to go through this process and we'll get started. So here's what I want you to do. Think back to a time, it could have been five minutes ago, and it could have been when you were five years old, any time. And look to see, find a time that you were unhappy, uncomfortable, you didn't like the way things went, you wish you could have done it differently, because today that's exactly what you're gonna do. So look back and if you need to, pause the video and write about that time. Because what I want you to do is I want you to make it more present. Really the truth is that by writing about it, or if you're with someone, pause the video and talk about it, you're going to reactivate the energy and bring it back. One thing about energy is that it stays with us when it mm, basically gets blocked or charged. <clears throat> I call it a charged energy. At that point, it is sort of like when you touch the fireplace or you know your stove and your finger is burning, it's charged up. It sort of goes wah, wah. You know, it's like an energy that's, that is alive and it kind of needs something, it's kind of off. And because of that, it's not flowing. It's not just going and being washed away and you're not moving on to the next experience. Instead, it's something that's residual, which is why you can conjure up the thought now. And so the more you can actually activate that thought and the more you can have that be here now, the more you're going to have an easier time and have more success with our working outside of time today. So conjure that up. Think about how you felt in that experience. And if you can, even let yourself feel that way now. I'm going to give you a few seconds in case you didn't pause it to at least think about it and focus there. You might notice yourself feeling a little different as you do, and that's a good thing. If you're sensitive to energy, you might sense your energy shifting into the energy of that experience. In any case, it doesn't matter. So notice how you were in that experience. Notice what you needed. I know you probably felt uncomfortable, bad, uh, insecure, angry, you know, whatever that might be. And I know that that makes it a little hard, but tune in a little more deeply to yourself, even yourself now, because you're right back in, tapped into that energy. And look to see what it is that would make you feel better, what it is that you need. And now start to let yourself in your imagination and in your memory of this experience, as you're bringing it to now, let yourself have some of what you need. If you felt uncomfortable, let yourself calm down a little and get more comfortable. If you felt angry, look to see what you need to feel better. And even if it's you need someone to apologize or something like that, give yourself the feeling 
that all is well, that you were apologized to, that it has been corrected. Give yourself whatever it is that's going to make you feel better and pull you somewhat out of this charge. It's going to help take some of that that pull, that pressure from the charge, it's going to help take some of that out. Now, in case you're having any difficulty with this, here's what I'm going to have you do. Let's try it again because I know it's hard to tap in and do all this all at once, especially if you're not accustomed to it. So I'll be stopping again for a few seconds to give you a few seconds to try to process this. But this time, pull that memory back up again, and we're going to do it a little differently. Notice again how you're feeling in that memory. Notice what you're feeling and notice whether feeling some love, some acceptance or approval. In other words, feeling love, loved or loving, feeling accepted by or accepting of your experience or the people, the circumstances, or feeling like just the way you are, just with the reaction you had, which may not be right or justified, but if you feel approved of, as though the way you are just is the way you are, and that's perfect. Nothing wrong with it. You could change your behavior, but you are approved of just the way you are. See if any of those, love, acceptance, or approval, Giving yourself one of those shifts the experience for you. So just letting yourself feel the love, the acceptance, or the approval in the situation you're recalling. And then Look to see how you now feel about or remember that experience. Do you feel a little differently? Has it shifted a little bit? As you practice this experience, sorry, this technique, as you practice working in energy and outside of time, you will find yourself shifting your past. Sometimes how you feel and even some of your memories sort of seem to shift too. It's amazing, it's incredible, and it's that easy. You get better at it just by practicing it. Thank you for joining me and notice that we can take this and also apply it to present and future situations. So please consider joining me on spiritualu.biz and taking a class and learning how to do this even more effectively with your future or more effectively and more often with your past because that's how you can be you be authentic and be unlimited as you're meant to be thank you for joining me